Do you want to improve your golf power and swing? Watch this. Our next caller is John from Connecticut. What's up, John? How can I help you? Hey, Sal. How's it going? What's up, man? So uh, first off, just thank you guys for having me on here. Um, it's a kind of a new podcast for me. I'm kind of a podcast junkie, but um, you guys are awesome. And I'm a relatively new listener, but uh, haven't missed an episode. So awesome. uh, oh, thanks man. for all the content and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Perfect. Glad to have you. Um, so thanks for taking my question. Um, it kind of uh, relates to golf specific exercises. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys some context and background uh, before I, before I ask my question. But um, so I'm 31 years old now. And uh, the past few years, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of recovering from what you guys have been talking about on some recent podcasts, as far as, you know, a cortisol uh, junkie um, mm -hmm. doing way too much cardio to try and stay in shape and uh, really regretting the uh, neglecting the weights. Um, so now I'm back on uh, with like kind of a three by three um, splitting up the week and, and getting back into the weights. So I'm happy with that. And now with golf uh, season right around the corner, I'm interested in um, adding some golf specific exercises into my routine. So I was wondering what you guys thought about, um, you know, focusing on specific body parts or adding specific exercises or stretching to my routine to, uh, to gear up for golf season. John, this so. is a good question, uh, for a couple of reasons. One, the golf swing has got to be one of the most complicated, um, I, I guess physical <laughs> feats in any sport. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. And it's unintuitive. <laughs> yeah. And then the second part, and again, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but the vast majority of the, the distance you're going to get on the ball comes from your technique, right? Very little comes from your actual physical strength, which I'm sure you, I mean, physical strength contributes, but it's about the technique uh, the, of hitting the ball, the speed and how you're able to transfer the power that you do generate um, from the ground. Again, I don't. I know I don't need to tell you that, but I want to say that because there's other people listening. And just getting stronger isn't going to make you hit the ball further, especially if getting stronger uh, results in your technique being off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you can do this by building a lot of muscle. So you can build a lot of muscle, and now your body's built a little differently. It throws off your swing, and although you're stronger, you're not hitting uh, any further. And so it's like, you know, what did I do this for? Okay, so... Now that we understand that, what's going to help you most with the power from a physical uh, you know, power perspective, I think we need to focus first on where you think you're weakest. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it's, it's the obvious general answer would be to strengthen your core, to do rotational exercises like uh, cable chops, uh, upward chops, downward chops, you windmills. Know, windmills, that kind of stuff. That's kind of obvious. But I've worked with um, people who you know want, want to do the same thing you wanted to do, and we got their hips stronger, and that's what did it for them because their lower body was weaker. Mm -hmm. Do you do you know what areas your body are probably the weakest, or areas you probably need to focus on? Yeah, I mean, I think it's mostly core and lower body, which is basically the foundation of the golf swing. So I'm wondering, um, you know, maybe I just need to really hone in on those body parts and strengthen those the most. Um, yeah. And, and the, the skills and everything will translate over and, and not diminish. And I'll just have that much more uh, strength in those areas. Yeah. You know, what would be, you know, what would probably be good, John, is using the sled. Uh, driving mm -hmm. forward, uh, backwards, and laterally, mm -hmm. um, because it connects the uh, everything from the toes up to the hips and the upper body involves the upper body. So you're gonna get a lot of strength translated all the way through. Of course, you know barbell squats and lunges and stuff like that will make you stronger. Might help as well. But I see the sled being a little bit more transferable uh, in terms of lower I, body for the golf for golf swing. I like to defer to people that are better at this than than myself or I think any of us in here. Not that I couldn't help you if you were a client, but I mean, I, there's somebody out there that's way better and more qualified to help you than myself. And there's a group of guys um, that I follow on Instagram. We've actually had him on the show before, or on the YouTube channel before. Uh, and they specialized golf, baseball, mm -hmm. and fighters. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, Brandon, his, his Instagram handle is Brandon PFS. 
Mm-hmm. So look up look up their group. Like his whole entire okay. Insta- Instagram is like dedicated. He's been working a lot. He's he's the we did a video with him series in here. Yeah, did we do it? Was it mm-hmm. golf related too? Yeah, I think it was right. Yeah. So if you go to how our, recently was that? Oh, guys? it was a long. Yeah, it was yeah. A years so ago. if you go to our YouTube channel and just put Mind Pump Golf <clears throat> Swing or Mind Pump. Uh, Brandon PFS. Will you look- yeah, just go to the show notes and it'll be there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. perfect. Thank, Thanks, thank you, Doug. Yeah, oh, so we'll, awesome. Yeah, we'll link in the show Thanks, notes. Doug. Um, but yeah, look look them up. They they specialize in in primarily those three sports. You will see that he's what's the name of the kid with the the kind of clown hair that's a badass fighter right now. Right. Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar. No idea. Sugar Shane. Shane yeah. yeah. So he's mostly, he yeah. he works with <laughs> him. Boxer. So a lot of his current stuff you'll see is kind of related to fighting. But if you go deep enough on his stuff, or if you look up, he's got programming. He's got a lot of stuff around and content around golf, baseball, and fighting. And I just the information that he's providing as far as cool, unique well, exercises that will translate to the golf course, the, he's got it. In terms of our stuff and what we have available already too, like in mass performance, we have you know some really good stick mobility um exercises that will help to you know improve you know lateral line in 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 terms of like thoracic rotation uh things that it'll help to kind of guide your body and put in positions where you can create and and create more torque in that rotation Mm -hmm. um and so that's something to consider uh and that's why i mentioned too with windmills because not a lot of people spend any kind of focus or time on windmills but it really does um you know contribute well towards you know these types of sports uh you know the hip hinging patterns an essential part of that whole swing so um you know to be able to strengthen the hips and you know put some emphasis there i i like personally um uh zercher squats uh you know for golfers as well the way it's like loaded uh, in the crook of your elbows um and um i think that those are just you know some great things to focus on just to strengthen and contribute towards that thanks doug sugar sugar sean not sugar shane it's sorry sh- it's sugar sugar yeah, there's no R. Sugar O'Malley, Sean O'Malley. Yeah, yeah. Sean O'Malley. Thank yes. you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he works. He works. He has been working with him for actually years. I imagine they're friends or whatever. But uh, so the point of me telling you that was that his page looks like it's geared towards all fighters, but mm-hmm. they we actually met them and got connected to them because uh, we Justin wrote a actually a golf guide. Yeah, so there's it's like an infographic it shows all these exercises that are very helpful, uh, you know, for gaining mobility and speed and uh, it's on you know, our power mind, in your swing. Mindpumpfree.com. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Go so to mindpumpfree.com. So go to mindpumpfree.com. There there is, there's there's a guide that's related that we did. So what inspired us to get hooked up with Brandon was Justin was writing a guide specific for golfers, uh, some priming movements and stuff that were, will benefit you. Um, and that led us down the kind of the rabbit hole of like, hey, who's in our space that's doing this that we think is doing it better than we are? Um, and then that's why we invited Brandon. So, mm-hmm. you know, dig through their stuff. Um, I think that uh, they've got great content that uh, will support what we're saying. Yeah, that's that's awesome, guys. I appreciate it. Um, you know, one of the big things about golf, too, is just kind of avoiding injury and, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, maintaining the flexibility and That's mobility right. in some of those joints. So uh, it's not just getting stronger and, and stuff like that, because that can almost um, change things like Sal was saying in terms of your swing. Um, but uh, as and long as I can avoid injury in my oblique area, my lower back. Um, and kind of get ahead of any issues lingering or potential and that's where we areas. that's kind of where we come from right so yeah. that's uh you know we, we the stuff that we have out there is more to bolster and to protect um you it's like there's bulletproof your back and all those yes. mm-hmm. uh, so, joints so the content that is in that free guide that's going to be a value along those lines if you wanted more specific exercises in the gym that translate to the golf swing i think that's where you're going to enjoy some of the stuff that that brandon's putting out over there um but the, the stuff in that free guide that we have and then the stuff that's in maps performance uh, I think will benefit you, especially what Justin was talking about with the stick mobility, some isometric work that we have, like those things are going to kind of bulletproof you and, and protect you. And, and you're right. Like that's, that's going to benefit you more for your golf swing more than, than anything yeah, else. Yeah, You need free flow movement it needs to be smooth and you mm-hmm. know, no hitch in that at all. And so like, yeah, mobility is at the utmost importance, you know, overall in, in terms of like, even just trying to get stronger. Okay, great. On top of that, is there one other thing I could ask um, in terms of like general um, weightlifting and resistance training to kind of intertwine with with cardio at this point? True, let's hear it. Um, So like 
right now, like I told you, I was just kind of addicted to cardio for uh, a few years and I, I regret it. But um, I've been trying to do and commit to three days of full body workouts and three days of cardio. Cause I, I just enjoy cardio for the mental aspects and just, you know, getting a sweat in sure. helps with everything. So how would you guys recommend, um, you know, doing cardio to a point where you're not overdoing it and sending your body mixed signals, um, and diminishing the returns and the results and gains you're getting on those, uh, you know, foundational workout type days, be fed, keep it under an hour, and do it on different times than when your workout workout are. That's also, mine. you just said that the number your the main reason why you do it is the mental benefits. Uh, so who cares? Do do it. Be, do what you love. I mean, you can okay. follow what Adam said, which well, is yeah, I that's mean, the objective physical answer. Right? But mm -hmm. if you do it for your mental effects and you enjoy it, then just do what you love and yeah, just make he, sure you don't. He over won't enjoy it if it's diminishing his returns sure. on his other stuff. Exactly. Right? So that's yeah, that's, that's how you. That's, what I'm that's how at you too. like. Obviously, we would probably recommend you. That's not a high priority if you want to be great at golf. But if you, for what Sal's saying, if you enjoy for the benefits, yeah, keep doing it. But there's a, a better way to do it, so you don't. You know, and that would be scheduling it away from when you're weight training. Uh, keep it under an hour, um, and you know, give your make sure you're fed. Those things will probably help uh, the most as far as mitigating yeah. any sort of muscle loss or it hindering anything totally. else you're trying mm -hmm. to do. And keeping it under an hour, but maybe gearing it more towards like a high intensity um, would help with the like shredding body fat. The percentage. higher the, the higher the intensity, the shorter it should be. Yep. But the, the mm -hmm. but don't okay. Do not do cardio to burn body fat. The cardio yeah. is for stamina or endurance or because you enjoy it. You want to get leaner. Look at your diet. So okay, it's, it's, it's a it's, yeah, yeah, it's a much true. much more effective approach. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks, John. Thanks for calling him. Yeah. Thank you, guys. No thank problem. you very much. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you know, um, I remember as a young trainer, I did not realize just how complex, you know, improving power and strength so that you see a positive result in a sport was. Right. I thought you get stronger, well, you're going to see it. This you know? is the trap where you see a lot of uh, young trainers, yes. myself included, where you just start trying to emulate those um, swings and things with cables, swings <laughs> yeah, with yes. kettlebells, swings with, you know, and, and you think you're you're doing them a service because uh, now we're adding load to that. It literally has no carryover, no trans. It no. doesn't translate at all. In fact, it actually ruins. It throws the off your technique. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So, in terms of something as complicated as a uh, a golf swing, the best thing you can do is keep your joints super healthy and responsive. Yeah. And, and the other thing to consider too is that it, you know when you're, it's such a complex movement. And you get so good at the body shape and size you have with the complex movement, adding muscle to your body, you now change uh, yeah. one factor. The recruitment pattern shifts, and you're you. bigger. Your yeah. arms are in a different position. You know, you add a half an inch to your arms, and they're in a different position than they were before, and it'll change the technique. Especially with golf. No, mo with golf more than almost anything, anything else. else. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it now, if it's a sport like football where your body mass is important, yeah, you can add 10 pounds, move a little different, don't matter, you're heavier and stronger. Yeah, especially if you have a position like a lineman or running exactly. back. Exactly. Where you don't, you know what I'm saying, where the technique can be off a tiny bit and your but mass, the mass, makes mass up and the, strength yeah. makes yes. up for the little bit of the technique being off. Where golf, you are off in just a, a smidge on Forget your technique. It. And, you know, you could be 10 times stronger, but that technique's slightly yeah. off and you're fucked. So the best way, obviously, if you're trying to gain strength, I mean, you know, go through your strength training program, but you really need to incorporate that technique and swing in between constantly. and during, like constantly keeping that, uh, you know, at uh, the forefront. Yep, totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.